Let's talk about a big tennis, tennis tournament that is happening on the south side today with major players, including Venus Williams, competing there. Yes, Which we are joined now by Kamal Murray. He is founder of the Excess Tennis and Education Foundation. Kamal, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, so for those unfamiliar, uh, talk about what is uh, going on at your facility all week long. Uh, we've got the Chicago Tennis Festival, so this week is the Chicago Women's Open, and it's a 250 international level event, so we've got 32 of the top 100 women tennis players in the world competing right here uh, on Chicago South Side, including Venus Williams, and right now Elena Svitolina is playing, who is number six player in the world, and just before she got on the court, uh, the Olympic silver medalist just won her first match. Wow, we've got some seriously te good tennis going on right here in our city. I want to learn a little bit more about the foundation. You used to coach a lot of players, then you founded this group. Tell us about Excess Tennis and Education. Yeah, so it's one of the nation's largest minority tennis organizations. We just, uh, four years ago, built our own location so we could have a permanent home to sort of serve our purpose of exposing, you know, minority youth to tennis at an affordable uh, and accessible way. And so we've, we've, sent over 50 kids to college uh, in doing so, and then in the process, you know, been able to lure some high-level professional events here so our kids can also get the opportunity to work on the events and be ball kids and get to be right up close and personal with professional tennis. You mentioned affordable. Uh, what's your message to folks who might want to check out some of this unbelievable talent on display uh, for, this, uh, for this women's tournament? Uh, how can people get involved? How can people be there uh, to see this unfold in person? Yeah, well, tickets are online. You can go to ChicagoTennisFestival.com, and tickets are only $15. So, again, this is the cheapest tennis tickets you can get anywhere in the world. So we encourage everyone to come on out and experience it. We just got a glimpse there of Venus there. What's it like for some of the kids involved in your program to meet people like that? Oh, it's great. I mean, you know, Venus actually, ironically, was one of the secret contributors to the facility back in the day. Uh, so she's been very gracious with her time and energy. Uh, she stopped and signed every autograph she could without getting too close so she doesn't catch COVID. Uh, uh, but no, it's, just, it's been great. The kids get to see them at their facility, which also creates a sense of pride in this you know, local nonprofit. And how, uh, talk about the impact that you guys have made on that community since opening up. You mentioned four years ago uh, it happened. Uh, how big of an impact has it had in terms of exposing these uh, community youth to uh, maybe a sport that they weren't familiar with before? Yeah, we've got over 1,300 people playing here at the facility now. We do free in-school programs. Um, you know, tennis is the number one revenue sport for women. And so we're 72% girls in this building, so we've got a bunch of young girls, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, Indian, all here trying to pursue that same dream. You know, there's so many college scholarship opportunities for young women, and, you know, we've got a building full of them that are chasing. So now we're working on getting more boys to, like, play basketball <laughs> and tennis at the same time. All right, well, Anthony's <laughs> heading there soon. I am. I'm <laughs> headed down there right now. Come, Come on, bring, bring your shoes. I have to change shoes, suit lace up again. Come out, Murray. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right.